What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Act number three, 2022 edition, going to 2023, you know, you know the deal, guys. Okay, so in our last episode, we did a little bit of explaining about why we're doing this walkthrough yet again. To improve, to make it better, old school gaming and all that stuff. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, Pokemon Stadium, yeah, that thing too. Continue on the Act 3 and all that crud, and well... We changed it up right here. Yes, so our very first Pokemon was a Chikorita, nicknamed Chico. Look at that. Chico, the grass type Pokemon. Yeah, buddy. And, uh, well, that's the first of many changes. I guess I could tell you guys what the next change would have to be. Yes, we're going to be including trade Pokemon into this game. And now we are actually enabled to trade Pokemon because, well, crud. We got Pokemon Stadium 2, Pokemon Stadium, the emulator. We can actually trade in-game right here. I'm excited about that. Anywho, once you go back into this route right here, you're going to be talking to this guy. He's like, I've seen you a couple of times. How many Pokemon have you caught? Would you like me to show you how to catch Pokemon? Sure, sure. Go ahead and teach me how to catch Pokemon. And this is just for the new trainers, I guess. If there is, like, by any chance, 1% of you starting off with Pokemon games and you're parents who are probably my age make you play this game first they're doing a bang up job this is how you you know you kept your pokemon it's not as nifty as the newer graphics but still you know it holds up you see that <laughs> anywho that's how you can that's how you do it first you weaken them or you weaken them first pokemon are easier to catch Okay, so yeah, we, we did get Pokeballs in the last, or we did get one Pokeball, I think. I don't know. How many Pokeballs did we get? Oh, we get five Pokeballs. That's pretty fantastic. Okay, so we're going to do some heavy editing right here, guys. I'm actually going to skip forward all the way to Route 30 because that's where, our continu or that's where our adventure continues. There's not a lot of Pokemon here that I want to capture, so I'll be right back with you guys once we get there. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Route 30, and uh, yeah, we excluded quite a few things into Cherry Grove and right here because, well, we've already passed it. I don't think many of you guys would want to, uh, you know, see, um, see me rant about this whole thing. But yes, continuing our adventure right here, we couldn't pass through Route 30 because, well, there was a Pokemon battle. Now it's over, and we're going to talk to the victor or loser right here. Yes, I just lost. I'm, so, I'm, I'm trying to find some more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Okay, so in what world do I look weak? Seriously, I am mighty like Thor. Okay, so here we go, taking on youngster Joey. Seriously? Why is it always why, why is it always a Joey that thinks I'm weak? I don't know. So here we have Radita, or Ratata, how many of you guys like to call it? I'm sorry, but I grew up saying Radita, so here we go, Razor Leaf. Eat Ratata or Ratatada. I don't even know how to say it. Ratatada. You know, we're just going to name it Rat, and look at that, we get to level 11, and, uh, well, we have defeated Youngster Joey with one hit. <laughs> yes, we beat you. And I'm not going to talk to you because you might give us your phone number, and here is the victor. You're in Pokemon Trainer, right? Then you have to battle. In what world do I have to battle? Well, I chose to battle and all that stuff, so here it is, guys, battling Youngster Mikey. And he has himself a Pidgey, which is kind of scary. Well, it's a level 2 Pidgey, so yeah, let's go right ahead and go with the Tackle Attack. Now, uh, funny thing, okay, I forgot to mention something about this, but in Generation 2, going into Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Crystal became, became the very first game for a few things, offering both male and female genders uh, in, in a, as a, as a uh, well, a starter character. As a part two, it, it offered genders for Pokemon. And, you know, the sprites kept on moving. As you can see, Raditz's butt was shaking. You know, it was wiggling. It was twerking before this whole thing was started. And, uh, yeah, the day and night cycle, which, you know, we will go into a little bit later on. Maybe in a few hours. I don't know. We're probably going to do it in a few hours. I think so. And Chico has grown just a little bit more. We need to be careful because, well, Chico, yes, even though it's at level 11, it's still not going to be as strong as the, the next challenge we're going to be going up against. So, let's move on right here. Trainer tips. No stealing other people's Pokemon. Pokeballs are thrown only at wild Pokemon, which is true. 
Walking in here, and well, talk to this lady right here. I'm not a trainer, but if you look one in the eyes, prepare to bed. Oh, okay, all right. And we looked them in the eyes, and instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. Hmm. Okay. Bring it on. So here we have Bugcatcher Don, and he's gonna be coming out with a Caterpie. Well, let's go with Chica right here. Chico, let's go with attack, we'll attack. Now, last episode I did say that, you know, in the Johto region it was going to be a little bit more difficult for a grass starter in the beginning because, well, you do have a flying type trainer, or a flying type and a bug type gym leader. And that is a big no-no for a grass type, so you have to actually stock up your Pokemon, you know, before these battles. And I do have maybe two Pokemon in mind when it comes to going into this next gym battle. You guys are gonna be surprised. Well, not too surprised. You're just gonna be. You, you, you guys are gonna be happy about it. I think. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. And well, look at that. Chico has grown a level, and Book to Catcher Don is not so happy right here. All right, let's move on right here. Okay, so moving on forward, and here we are in Route 31. You're gonna be finding some initial Pokemon. And, yes, we didn't get attacked by any of these Pokemon, but this guy right here is like Dark Cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Now, in the original walkthrough of Pokemon Crystal, I actually found a Teddy Ursa in here. That is not the case right here, guys. We did say we're going to be changing it up. I'll go visit you later. Oh, and by the way, uh, Toxic Batman? Yeah, you can ba you, you, you can find a, you know, you can find a, uh, what was it, a Zubat in there, too, if you wanted to. And... Yeah, there's quite a few Pokemon that I actually captured in the last generation that, you know... <laughs> yeah, okay, so... Here's a sleepy fellow, and he's like... Huh? I walked too far today looking for a Pokemon. My feet hurt, and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. ZZZ. Now, that's probably just, uh, you know... Kind of like a little bit of a clue of, like, hey, put your Pokemon to sleep to catch any these Pokemon. And here... We found ourselves a fruit bearing uh, tree, and here we're gonna find ourselves a bitter berry, which can actually uh, help confusion and all that stuff. And, uh, well, like I said before, guys, if you guys wanna get more berries, wait until midnight, and then bam, they regrow again. Alright! Let's go ahead and battle these Pokemon right here. So, here we go. Here's a, I would assume, is a bug catcher. Bug catcher's looking at me, and he's like, uh, he wants to battle now. At this point, I probably should have some four Pokemon, or maybe just two. Share the wealth and all that stuff, but it looks like to me, we're gonna go with Chico all the way. What does kind of concern me a little bit is the fact that this bug catcher might have a bug type, uh, or a Weedle, which is a poison type Pokemon, and yeah, Chico is a little bit weak to that Pokemon, so yeah. Gotta be careful for that, and here we have another Caterpie. Yeah, there's no sharing the wealth right here. Let's go tackle attack. And there we go. Caterpie has been defeated. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And here we have Weedle. This is the Pokemon that I'm worried about. It's a quadruple... Uh, well, it has a quadruple effectiveness. And... Oh, yes. We get hit by a poison sting attack. Thankfully, we're not poisoned. And here we have a tackle attack for the win. Say goodbye to Weedle. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and who is next? Caterpie yet again. And let's go straight for a tackle attack. And that right there nearly defeats Caterpie. So, here comes tackle. And finishing it off, tackle attack for the win. There you go. Okay. Bam. Okay, so there we go. Level 12. And it has learned Reflect, which is a very good uh, defensive move. Many of you guys already know, Draven's a little strategic when it comes to these Pokemon things. Alright, let's go right ahead and grab this. Here we found ourselves another Pokeball. That would be useful, because there are some Pokemon that I want to capture. And, uh, well, let's go right out here, and nobody is uh, bothering us. Let's see what this guy says. Hi there! Did you visit the Sprout Tower? Not really. Okay, so here we are in Violet City, guys. There are maybe quite a few things that you can actually check out, which, you know what, let's go right ahead and do, because, yeah, you guys probably don't want to see anything else out. This is home to the first gym, which is the Violet City Gym, 
Flying type Pokemon. Talk to this individual right here. He's like, hello! You are a trainer. Battle the gym leader win, did you? Uh, I didn't even battle the trainer, but okay. Is that so? Then study shall you. Follow me. And, well, he's dancing all over the place. Wow, he is spitting and, uh, well, look at that. Here! Teacher I am, good it is you study here. Okay. Well, let's go. So as you can see, this is the trainer school, and there's not a lot of stuff that, you know, you can actually find right here, except for, like, you know, strategic stuff, like how to capture Pokemon, uh, carry six Pokemon up to the, the whole deal, and if you talk to this guy, let's see. Here I am! Wonderful, our Pokemon, yes! Teach you I will to be a better trainer! What do you want to know? What Want to be a winner is you? Yes. Good, teach you I will. In battle, Pokemon top of the list, jump out first. Change order in list, make battle easy, maybe. More from me you want to hear? Sure. So, want to know how to raise Pokemon well? Yeah, go ahead. Fine, teach you I will. If Pokemon come out in battle even, briefly, some experience point it gets. At top of list, put weak Pokemon. Switch in battle quick! This way, weak Pokemon strong become. Okay. He kind of sounds like the... He kind of sounds like a, the Team Rocket member over in Cerulean City and all that stuff. Now, there's another thing here, too, that you can actually find in Violet City. This is the Sprout Tower, which we will go into in the next episode. And, uh, let's see, what else? What else? There's a route right here, which, you know what, let's go ahead and cross it. There is an item right here that we can actually find. Bam, we found another fruit-bearing tree, and it is a paralysis cure. Paralysis cure berry, yes. And, uh, well, I guess that's pretty much it right here, guys. <laughs> I know, it's not a lot, of, not a lot in this episode right now, but yes, in the next episode, it's going to get interesting. Off-screen... There might be a Pokemon here and there that we might have on our team. I totally forgot, I totally forgot to grab one Pokemon on my way over to Violet City, but, you know, we will get there into, well, we will we'll get there when we get there. So, thank you guys again for watching. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, heart button's right there. Um, what else is there? What else is there? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If you guys want to join, if you guys want to join as a member to go watch Pokemon Silver, I think? Yes, Pokemon Silver walkthrough in November, then yeah, go ahead and join, and bam, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be able to watch these exclusive walkthroughs, which, if you guys are interested, there you go. Uh, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, guys, if you were wondering what kind of Pokemon I wanted to capture, that I forgot to capture along the way, it was this guy right here, Spiro. Uh... Yeah, before I end this episode completely, Spiro will actually help me in this one particular area in Violet City for the next episode. Or maybe the following. Who knows? Yes, but Spiro is the Pokemon that we're going to be trying to capture right here. And, oh god, okay, so you guys are getting a more than just that, and... Well, we're capturing this guy because of that move right there, Peck Attack. And uh, if you guys are wondering what color, what other Pokemon I captured, well, there were just extra Pokemon that you know I found and all that crap. And well, there's one, there's two, there's three. Stay in the ball, yes. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. And yes, he, this Pokemon is going into the Pokedex. Spear of the Tiny Bird Pokemon to protect its territory. It flies around ceaselessly or ceaselessly, ceaselessly. Ceaselessly, that's what it is. Making high-pitched cries. And as many of you guys already know, yes, we already have a nickname for this Pokemon. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Tornado. I don't know why I named it Tornado. It just sounded good. Anywho, like I said before, guys, if you want to make a small donation, heart button's right there. Link's on the description. If you guys want to join, go ahead and join. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkers. See you guys.